For the first time in many months, everyone in the viewing area will be going below freezing tonight. While you likely have a warm place to stay tonight, the Interactive Resource Center says 900 people in Greensboro don't. That's where these pallet homes come in. For the second year in a row, these temporary shelters will give 60 people a warm place to stay. WFMY News 2's Giselle Thomas has a closer look at, at a, a closer look at them. Security bathrooms and a safe place to rest your head at night are just a few things individuals will get if they move into a pallet home. The city of Greensboro says to apply, you need a referral. Once IRC, the Interactive Resource Center, receives those referrals, they do a prioritization list. So we're really trying to target those individuals who are at the highest risk, um, or what we like to say, highest acuity um, of dying on the streets during the winter. And so it's important to protect those that are most vulnerable. The criteria for pallet homes include unsheltered homelessness, the elderly, and a disability. The IRC says all those factors are important in their selection process. Homelessness is not linear, so we know that there's lots of different levels of experiencing homelessness, and we try to pick um, the best case scenario of someone that just needs someone to get that extra edge to get their final um, path to housing. For the next five months, 30 shelters will house more than 50 people and provide amenities and security. Two of the shelters are slated to accommodate people with disabilities. This year, the city says it costs about $200,000 to run. I spoke to two applicants who say that if they are chosen to be a part of this process, being able to have a bed and also to have a heater could potentially completely turn their lives around. It's just being out here and knowing it's cold that there's still people out there. Right now, there's still some people out there. I weep tears. They don't even see my tears that I weep, huh? I weep with them myself because I know they hurt. The move-in process for these pellet homes starts next week, and the city says they plan to continue the program next year. Giselle Thomas, WFMY News 2.